Welcome boys and girls, guys and gals to Wild Bill's Garage. What we're looking at right here is Haynes Junction, Yukon Territory. That's about an hour and a half northwest of Whitehorse on the Alaska Highway. That highway right there actually is one that juts off and goes to, it seems like it goes straight through town, and I guess it does, but that's Highway 3 going to Haynes, Alaska, and you can ferry from there to Juneau. It was a beautiful day. We went over to Haynes, had a bit of a lunch, and uh, even though it's a different trip from here, you can take that highway right there, Alaska Highway, number one, and head out to Kalani Park, which we just kind of scanned by there. Beautiful park. It's an amazing park, really. So the the sparrows were buzzing the Mavic constantly. I was somewhat worried about, I don't want to be bothering anybody's. I must have been near their territory, their turf. Those sparrows, they're, they're bad, they're, they're bad hombres. Or they, they can be Nice place in Junction, you can get a really, we had actually a, a brought our own lunch, but we've stopped there before for burgers and fries. There we are. Now I'm, I've slowed down, I didn't know that you had to constantly, I did not know you had to constantly tap the screen to focus and, or hit the center button, focus center button. Uh, so this whole footage from here in Hinge Junction was just on automatic. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. I'm on 4K. That's the muffin. The locals call that the muffin. It's a little tourist attraction. Uh, sculpture, clay, I don't know what it's made of. Um, to show the park and uh, highlight some of the wilderness that you're going to be seeing up there, which is what you see a lot of up there. Now, rookie mistake here, I... I... I really do travel videography and with motorcycles, a family, friends, etc. Motorcycles, that's really what I'm all about these days. And the bike should be right there in the gravel pit in the yard, but they're behind the tree. You can barely see them. You should have little girls out there where you can look at the DLs. This is my wife helping out with photography. She's a much better photographer than I am. Right now she's trying to make a decision between a banana or the cheesies. Can't find a banana, so maybe we'll just have some cheesies. We cleaned them up both. So this this Mavic, I have crashed it. I've, I'm I'm cautious now. And uh, for the rookies, everybody who has these Mavics, know you got to set up everything up. IMU compass, all your center states. You got to set this little girl up if you want this bird to fly correctly. And even then, you can make mistakes. So I later, on a different trip, I wandered over to Clawney Park at Sheep Mountain there. That's the beginning of the lake. The lake's 80 kilometers long. I didn't get up too high or too far away again due to paranoia. I'm practicing on that. See a little bit of dust way in the distance there. I don't pick it up from, the boy the wind was picking up. And the Mavic loses battery power quick in the wind. And you don't want to be far away when the battery decides to say, Hey, I'm tired, and I'll be dropping out of the sky very shortly. It's just beautiful up there. So this is a little over two hours from our house. It's a perfect ride, really. Not a real deep lake I was reading on the background information 100 to 300 feet deep 80 kilometers long not too wide goes up to construction bay there and eventually to the beaver creek by the border of alaska and you can go through to fairbanks i'm just playing around we're trying to get familiar with this little bird the 4k really does pick up a lot of maybe like the pebbles see that rock right there that could be a rock loaded with minerals and you know, copper or whatever could really throw your Mavic off as far as the compass. It's amazing what throws this thing off. Uh, one bit of advice that I said before, don't and don't fly on near metal, on metal. One time I put it on a car hood and tried to take off and it did not turn out well. That was my first crash. Of course I read up more and more and more and the metal is not a friend of the of the drone. Look at the look at the rocks. It just picks everything up clearly. I'm getting it to track, been playing with that. 
Now on a, a quick side note, you can't track with the tablets. I've been using a Samsung and that doesn't always hook up. But it doesn't track with any tablet is what I'm understanding. And I've been using my Nexus 4, uh, which is old and has a small screen, and my Lenovo doesn't hook up. DDI says use an Apple product. I don't know why they're stuck on, on Apple, but whatever, I'm not going to be. So I'm probably going to have to get a set of goggles to make this work. Because of course if you use the wrong phone that doesn't made up, your crash rate can increase. So goggles it is, and I'll be moving into those shortly. And this is later on, uh, coming down the Alaska Highway. I'm, I'm in Vancouver right now doing this edit. Stop to get a look at this little bump on the Alaska Highway. And once again, the wind, the wind this fall has just been crazy up there. So I didn't want to get up too high or too far. And of course I had a long 2,500 kilometer drive ahead of me. So I was, I just wanted to stop and see how, how things looked. It's not quite really yellow yet. It's early September. Late August here, I'm about 140 feet in the air. Dragging the Mad Max trailer. So when, when we go home in a couple of weeks, we'll get some footage of the yellow uh, stuff. And I'm actually looking at a, my wife has given me a really nice budget for next year. So for the first time in my life, I'm gonna get something really, really special as far as a motorcycle, as far as I can, I'm concerned. I don't give too much away, but I'd say, you know, 1,200 cc's is probably not going to be enough. Boy, am I excited about that. So here the Mavic decided to let me know once again the batteries are dying, but I don't dick around anymore. Oh, beep, 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 uh, Mavic not happy coming home soon unless you take control. So I'll just say uh, au revoir from here, and thanks guys and gals for coming out. We'll have some more of the Yukon shortly, and of the big new beast coming into Wild Bill's garage. Wow, yeah, come home now, and land right now, please. This is a panic mode land, and it works quick. Okay, thanks again, guys. Y'all have a great day. This is Wild Bill's garage, signing out. Down we go. Come on, Sparky. Y'all have a great day.